Hello. So today I'm going to be unpotting and stripping my plants and getting them into a uh, bare root mode. Here this plant was being uh, quite difficult to get out. This is a melatasis, a mix between a melatonia and a brassia. I haven't seen it bloom in a while, but I have new growth, and it started growing these crazy roots out of the top, and uh, I don't know, it's just not doing that great, or as well as I thought it would in the semi-hydro. So, pop, there it goes. Um, and then I'm going to just kind of try to loosen the roots a little bit, but that's really not important, and it's really only like a beads. Oh yeah, and then there's some this bulb here is really useless, so just kind of separating that out. It could actually be a separate plant altogether. Like sometimes when I get these Trader Joe plants, there are two plants in one to make them look bigger. That's probably what that was. So now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. It's just like the beads. Nothing. Oh, jeez, birds. And <sighs> put it in there. I'm trying to do a voiceover. Okay, so there we go. I'm just gonna put it in a pot, put some water in it. Done. Then this little part here, I don't know, it's got this funky growth growing. Yeah, check it out. Right here. There's like a baby plant growing inside or on top of the bulb. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of experiment with this and uh, see what happens. But it's like really a little tiny plant growing there. It's so weird. I've never seen that before. And healthy roots, so we'll see. What am I doing here? Oh. So I'm just kind of separating off this other bulb a little bit more, I figured. Uh, it's kind of, these plants tend to grow big when they have lots of different growths. And you can take off bulbs that are old and not, oh, there's a dog. There's Tiny Indy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just cut off an extra bulb. And then I have that bulb, but I don't know what to do with it. I think I'm just going to leave it. It's not taking up that much room. And then... Just putting it in a decorative pot, no holes, just keeping the beads on, put some water in there, call it a day. Bare root. It's kind of like a mounted orchid, but not mounted. It's just a bare root orchid. And the beads just throw them there. It's not a big deal. And this piece, I don't know what to do with this piece. I'm just going to, I don't know. We'll see you later. Oh yeah, here's the other one. This one is my brassia. This thing was a challenge to get out. I had to cut the plastic. It was growing up and out of the pot. This is um, that white valeria. It's really pretty and it's been growing really well and it blooms very nicely for me. So I'm just kind of trying to um, loosen the roots a bit, but I mean, it's a, it's a root block. <laughs> I'm not going to be fighting with that guy. So what I ended up doing was I put it in a big pot. You'll see. This one uh, is a little sunset melatonia or something like that. And I just got it, so it's still in dirt. So I'm just going to get it out of that pot, and I'm going to go bare root with this one. I'm not even putting in like a beads. Just going to get that root loose for the dirt, or loosen up the dirt around the roots. And it takes a while because there's a lot of dirt. So I got as much dirt as I could off. Clip the flowers. Don't need those anymore. And uh, I end up having to take it to the sink and uh, wash the roots off because that's, you, you don't want, yeah, see, got to rinse it. You don't want any um, organic media to be in your water when you're doing bare root with water only. If you have organic media on the roots, it will cause more rot. So here we are, just kind of drying it off because I really got the whole plant wet. It's good to wash your leaves, they get dusty. And now I have beautiful, clean, I'd say 99% clean of dirt, nice roots. Those guys are ready to just go in a pot. What pot? What pot am I going to put it in? These decorative pots are great because the light doesn't get in, so you don't have algae problems. Boom, done. See that? And there's the inside. That's how I'm doing it. Just keeping it bare root, sitting it on top of like a bead so that it doesn't sink too far in the pot. Here's what I did with the brassia. Uh, I can fill the water as high as I want it, keep it as low as I want it, and I'm just letting it sit in there so it can grow its roots out and around. It can try to grow out of the pot if it wants. 
This thing is a wild beast. This plant is big and it has a mind of its own. Here's the Melitasia. Uh, keeping the lack of beads in there because, you know, it's inorganic media, so it's not a big deal. It gives the roots something to hold on to. I mean, it's pretty much semi hydro, but in a weird way, just kind of keeping the reservoir. I don't know, just trying something new. So there we go. And that, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I think I'm just going to leave it in water, see what happens. If anybody wants it, you can have it. Uh, and that weird little tiny plant. Thanks for watching, and this is just the start of me going bare root.